All right, so we're here in Clinton Township, Michigan, and we're starting on a new project. So let me turn the camera around. I'll show you what we got going on. So I don't know if you remember, but earlier this year I posted um, a Zoom meeting. I'll put a link here that shows uh, that Zoom meeting that I had with the customers. They were down in Florida, and we talked about adding a pond into their backyard. So the homeowners, um, Originally, it planned on going to Paris for a vacation. Now, this is going to be their Paris. So, what we've got going on is we've got a, a 20 Wait. foot long pond by 18 foot wide pond. It's going to hug right next to the patio. We're going to be doing a waterfall right back over here. We're going to be doing a secondary waterfall here. And then we've got a little bit of surprise that's going to happen right in the center down here where the two waterfalls meet we've got a fish cave great oxygenation we've got lily shelves throughout the pond we've got our spectators that are going to be lined up here just watch us we've got a dog here that's coming to greet us what's up buddy and this is Brian he is our foreman he's going to be orchestrating this job he's our conductor let's see what kind of music Brian can make All right, so this is the end of day one. We've got the pond is excavated. I have a short stream right there underneath the uh, bio falls that's gonna go there. We've got another stream that's gonna get carved out, come in here. And we're gonna have a little surprise that goes in the middle. So we'll, we'll save that for later. All of our piping is in. We're gonna create a slight berm on this side of the pond to stop any groundwater going down underneath the liner or even into the pond. Our skimmer is in, it's all plumbed up. We've got a water lily shelf here. The shelf over here is so we don't get deep plunges of water coming into the, the pond. We'll carve this one back, so this one will have not so much of a deep plunge either. The reason why I don't like the deep plunges is if they decide to run this all year round, I don't want to take water that comes over ice covered rocks and deep plunge to the bottom of the pond stirring up the even colder water temperature fluctuations with koi uh, they don't like it so um, we don't want to kill any fish we've got steps here we've got a small little um, shelf here and then another step there we got little guys that are going to come in say hi guys We've got a two foot section here, we've got a three foot section here. Can't tell by the video, but we've got it slightly tapered this way over to this area where you can see a little bit of standing water. The reason why we do a slight taper on our ponds is these need to be cleaned out. Easier to rinse, that way we can put a pump in here during clean out season in the spring, and then we can rinse from this side right to our pump. And then we rinse this shelf down and go on. So we're gonna install our underlayment. Now the task is to get that hemo roll out of the back of the truck.
All right, so we're starting off day number three over here in our Clinton Township Pond. 18, uh, 20 by 18 at the max. Um, guys are continuing to rock in the pond. The streams are carved out. We've got the 2500 biofalls that I mentioned. We've got the uh, 6000 biofalls. Streams are carved out, so we'll have a drop right here. A um, couple more days and we'll have this one wrapped up. Get some water flowing in here. The big problem that we're having right now is it's not necessarily an issue with the job conditions, the sites, anything like that. It's stuff that's out of our control, such as the boulder places that we are getting our boulders from. Everybody's back to work now. Everybody's backed up. So we placed an order for today for next week. You know, we get, got lucky with this last order that they were able to squeeze us in for the next day delivery. But we were fortunate that that could happen. So we're blaming it on, we're blaming it on 2020. Yeah. You know what, it's the year, it's what's going on and not much we, we don't have any control over it. So um, we're dealing it the best we can. It's hurting our produ productivity and it is what it is. So our uh, schedules are getting backed up because we're supposed to be on other jobs. I know it's not running yet, but what's your impression right now as no, far uh, as... It's, it's above and beyond my wildest expectation. Dan is the man. <laughs> no, he really hey, did an awesome It job. is a team effort, you know, all the way around. Oh.